What's going on, man? Justin, I got a slight, uh, slight issue over here. Not really surprising. All right, so... <sighs> You know how when, you, when you're vacuuming and you got the vacuuming around the house and you've got your wired headphones in and the cable pops out of it and then it gets, and it gets sucked up into the vacuum? Can't say I do. Well, it happens. Just get a pair of Raycons. Raycons? Yeah, Raycons are wireless earbuds that seamlessly connect to your phone's Bluetooth. Plus, the sound is amazing. I do like good sounds. The latest ones, the Everyday E25s, they're the best ones yet. You get like six hours of playtime. So I could vacuum for six hours? Yeah, if you want to. What's the catch, Justin? Hmm? Is it gonna cost me an arm and a leg? Actually, they start at half the price of any other premium wireless earbud on the market. You know what, man? I'm just gonna order you a pair. <laughs> really? Yep, they're on the way. Thanks, Raycon. Now all I need is a wireless vacuum. <laughs> Leave wires behind and grab some Raycon earbuds by going to buyraycon.com slash manshorts or click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order today. And now, on with the show. Man Shorts. Well, I certainly hope the three of you learned something from the sessions you DM'd. Well, I learned that if you give your players an inch, they're going to take 10 miles. Which is awesome when you're doing Pro Wrestling Edition. I learned that tournament-based combat takes way too long, and uh, that mechs are broken. Hey, he's the one who made the magic girl. Sarah, did you learn anything? No. Did you? <sighs> okay, so today we're going to be playing YouTuber Edition. Roll an initiative to... I have a question. Will we have to worry about censorship? I don't know what that means. Well, you know, if we were to publish videos containing graphic violence or painful truths... I mean, you're not going to be held to any standard beyond the terms and conditions that you agreed to when you created your free account. Sounds like censorship. YouTube's a private company. It's not your town square. Roll initiative. Six. Seventeen. Fourteen. Sarah, tell me about your channel. It's mostly a vlog, but I also do makeup tutorials. Sounds normal. Roll a performance check for your first video. Nat 20. Your first video goes viral after a friend of yours shares it on Instagram. The comment section is filled with motivational and inspirational sentiments. Good thing. My character's entire self-worth hinges on the fact that she'd be liked by strangers on the internet. That sounds unhealthy. For now, you gain 1,500 subscribers. Lance, dare I ask? My channel is called Lancey Pants Wrestling. Your premier source for wrestling commentary and analysis. Sounds like a niche market. Yeah, more like a niche market, because marks are wrestling fans. No? Okay. Give me a performance check. Uh, ten. Your first video gets ten views. Oh, uh, okay, well, I, ten views is still good. Well, four of them are from you, and one's from your mom, so... Really, it's five. Well, that's five times more than none. So when do I start making money? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You gained three subscribers. Waylon, what's your first video? It's a documentary-style vignette about the Vampire Cannibal Society that lives in an abandoned train station in Vietnam. That sounds insane. Yeah, I hung a Yeti microphone in my closet to do ADR, and then I edited it in Audacity with my eyes closed. Roll performance. Two. The video gets zero views. Probably because no one wants to watch it. I knew it. YouTube buried it. So you think YouTube wants your video to fail? You do realize how YouTube makes money, right? By encouraging creators to buy additional copies of the subscriber milestone awards that they earn. Besides that. Advertising. While you were talking, I uploaded another two videos. One's about Flat Earth, and the other's just people falling off of cliffs. Okay. That's probably gonna get flagged. I can just see him now, some little nerdy snowflake in a lab coat, picking and choosing who gets to have a voice. So you think that someone's manually reviewing your video? You think that's more likely than there being automatic software that detects images and tags that violate the terms and conditions of the site? Yes. Sarah, have you decided on an upload schedule? Not really. I'm just going to keep it casual. Roll a percentile to see how many subscribers you've gained. 81. You gained another 810 subscribers. Also, people are starting to send you money via PayPal and Venmo. This is too easy. Can I monetize my videos yet? Technically, yes. Actually, you know what? All of you can just monetize your videos. It's not going to change things that much. Am I still getting a lot of uplifting and complimentary comments? Mostly. But as you gain popularity, you're going to have to sort through the sexually aggressive propositions and the jealousy-fueled death threats. Oh my god. What's your AC? 
14. A guy named Dave messages you on Facebook. He sends you a link to Waylon's creepy cannibal video and asks you out. I block him. He sends you a rage-filled email so hateful that you question whether or not you can go on living. Take 28 psychic damage. Geez, all I wanted to do was make a few videos. I didn't know this was going to turn into Silence of the Lambs. Lance? Bring on the hate. If I can earn ad money from my videos, I'm fine with it. Actually, comments are the least of your concern. Do any of your reviews contain any videos or images that are the intellectual property of WWE, AEW, or their partners? I mean, yeah, probably. I, I have to show clips of the matches that I'm analyzing. Yeah, I thought so. Unfortunately, you can't monetize those videos. What? That's, like, all of my videos. YouTube suppression at it again. Actually, YouTube doesn't care. WWE is the one that manually filed the copyright claim. You can challenge it by claiming fair use. You'd be surprised how many of those they overturn. Oh. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if all these people who complain about YouTube demonetizing their videos even realize there's a review process. Doubtful. They'd have to stop complaining long enough to learn how to navigate their account. Who has time to talk about options when the First Amendment is under attack? Show me in the Constitution where it says I can't make money online. Your videos aren't monetized because they either directly violate the terms and service of the website, or no advertisers want to be associated with your content, or both. Oh yeah? Fine. What if I take my content and my audience to a different platform? That's the best thing you've said all session. I'm serious. I'll do it. You have 48 subscribers, man, and 14 of those are bots. I think it's best for you and YouTube to go to another platform. Good luck, Google. I will not be silenced. Being a content creator is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's also a minefield for your self-image. Yeah, but if this were the 80s, no one would even know who you are. I mean, the internet has allowed for a surplus of artistic opportunities. They just come with their own set of challenges. Could we play something a little less existential? Sure. What'd you have in mind? 90s, 90s edition? 90s it is. D&D swag, 20 D20s in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Wouldn't want it at M when I'm in. Did the max for the win. D&D swag. 2020s in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Let the bet begin when I'm in to the max. Now y'all can find me at the table ready and able to role play. OP, I'ma be power gaming the whole way. Apex predator patrolling for prey. Components and material. I just read what the scroll say. Olay, fast track to the boss lair. How many people I gotta be telling I got them up in my crosshairs?